For this project I started with an 11 by 22 inch picture frame that I had picked up at Goodwill. I believe it was only $1.99. I took the clips out, I took the backing out, I took the glass out, I cleaned up the glass, and then I took Elmer's glue and put it around the perimeter of the back of the frame where the glass sits. Then I replaced the glass and took Elmer's glue one more time and put it around the perimeter of the back of the frame, this time on top of the glass. Now this serves two purposes. It helps to hold the glass in place and it also helps to prevent any resin leaks. To sit overnight to dry and sometimes up to 24 hours depending on how much glue you use. So the glass I'm using for this project is actually gold reflective glass. It's one quarter inch that I had picked up on Amazon. And I took it out to the garage and I sprayed it with the Krylon Stained Glass Summer Green Spray Paint. Now this did take multiple coats. I probably came back and forth about five or six times and I would have used the Tamaya spray paint because it's so much more concentrated, but that's more of a blue green and I really wanted a true green. And then I took these signs, uh, metal signs that I had picked up at Dollar Tree. They were three for a dollar. I took the piece one and I painted it gold with this deco color oil-based gold marker and I thought it turned out real pretty and I'm going to use that for the very top of the picture frame just above where the tree is going to sit. So I drew out a tree, this time not one that's just a triangle but that has some branches and I taped it to the back of the glass. Then I flipped it over and I just started piling the glass on trying to find the t or follow the template of the tree below it. And that took a few minutes. And then I started looking for some jewelry so that I could f put something at the top and something to make up the tree trunk. The things I look for at garage sales and thrift stores besides glass and picture frames is jewelry and I have quite a collection now. Next it was ready for the resin. The resin I used for this project was art resin. It's a one-to-one -one ratio resin that you mix slowly for three minutes scraping the sides and scraping the bottom to ensure thorough mixing. I usually drizzle it over the glass first and then up into the corners and along the sides. Even though they say it's self-leveling, you really do have to move the resin around by yourself. And I usually use a spoon or a gloved hand to move the resin around. When you're working with resin, you really have to get down eye level and look at it from all directions to be able to see that everything is covered properly and that there's no sediment in it. Not sure if you can tell, but I'm putting some little gold beads on it also. I usually use a toothpick to move things around. That's the easiest way to do it. Otherwise, it'll stick to your gloved hand. Uh, the toothpick really works well. And then I use the kitchen torch to get rid of the bubbles, which I have to go back several times to do. And then it's pretty much done. It has to sit on a flat level surface overnight after 12 hours. You can usually touch it. Art resin takes a full 72 hours to cure at temperatures between 72 and 85 degrees Fahrenheit. Hi everyone. <laughs> Finally got my Christmas tree up. These videos are probably way out of order. You might actually see a video after this that has pumpkins in the background because um, I just kind of switched them around after I did them. But anyway, um, yeah, I have the Christmas tree up, but no ornaments yet. So anyway, um, I thought this was cute. I almost wish that I had just filled the whole thing with the Christmas tree. But I know some of you had mentioned, uh, um, were kind of worried about the lettering and someone had a problem with, um, with their markers running. So um, this is a real easy way to put some words up at the top. Like I said, those were from the Dollar Tree. So there was three words, uh, joy, peace, and believe, that uh, were $1.25 at the Dollar Tree. And like I said, I just painted that with the gold um, oil-based markers. And But I do think it turned out cute. It's a nice big, um, big frame, but uh, like I said, I think I might do one after this where it fills the entire frame up. 
and I really like this green glass. Of course, it was the gold reflective glass off of Amazon, and I just spray painted it green with the Krylon stained glass spray paint, which took quite a few coats, but that Tamaya green spray paint is um, kind of a blue green, so I really wanted more of a true green. So anyway, I think it turned out cute. Um, and I did end up putting some little, uh, I guess, ornaments on it. They're little gold beads that look pretty. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you want to be notified of future videos, go ahead and subscribe. And I hope you all have a great day. Thanks for watching.